Praise be to Jesus. Hi hey everyone, Charles with you here. Um, I'm going to talk here for a few minutes, and then I'm going to put up a video that will, as far as I'm concerned, prove that Pope Francis is actually the false prophet in the book of Revelation who um, is destroying the Catholic Church. Um, so I've been working on a project here for the last couple of months, and it'll continue for a, a few more months. Uh, it's a really big project. Anyway, I came across this message um, that Jesus gave Maria Divine Mercy. Now, I know most of you um, don't feel like uh, a few of you may. I think there may be some people on this, um, on this channel that just reject Maria Divine Mercy messages um, saying that they've been condemned by the Catholic Church. Well, of course they've been condemned. Um, you know, starting in uh, November 20, 2010, uh, Jesus started talking about in the messages um, of all the changes that are going to come about the Catholic Church. But this one here really hits the nail on the head. Now, I went and um, researched the dates of when certain things happen. Now, the message where, if you listen to it, uh, is dated Sunday, February 17, 2013. All right. So, 11 days later, um, Pope Benedict resigned, and 30 days after this message, um, Francis was uh, elevated to the papacy uh, and it talks very specifically it doesn't talk about his name but I mean it's really obvious in the message that um, what's going to happen here and um, um, you know that this message is really proof to me that Maria Divine Mercy is really the end time prophet um, you know, so, um, you know, I, I think those of you who are struggling with this um, just need to deal with it. You know, you need to deal with the reality that we have entered the end times and Pope Francis is the false prophet. Now, he's not the Antichrist. The Antichrist is a secular person who's yet to appear on the world stage. But Francis is preparing the destruction of the Catholic Church and um, when the Antichrist appears that um, he and the Antichrist and Francis will form this one world religion and build the temple in Rome and uh, they're going to take most of um, baptized Catholics with them I mean they, they just are um, those of us that know better will be part of the the very small remnant church. I don't even know that it'll be 10%, but you know, maybe just a few percent of uh, baptized Catholics will not fall for this. And um, so there's a lot of things that are going to happen here in the future. But um, I just want to bring this to you because there may be a few of you who aren't really sure about Maria Divine Mercy. And it's not only this message, you know, there are many messages where uh, Jesus will tell her, um, like I told you last year on such and such a date, such and such a thing was gonna happen, and you see that it just happened yesterday. Um, you know, so the, the, all of her prophecies have come true. And so she is the real deal. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, and I think if you're struggling with this, you need to pray about it. Okay, so I've talked enough about this. And uh, uh, here's, the me here's the message I just made. Um, uh, here, here's, the, here's the video I just made about this message. All right, so we'll talk to you again soon. Bye. The false prophet will now take over the seat in Rome. Sunday, February 17, 2013 at 7 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter, the schism within the Catholic Church, as foretold, will now be witnessed, for all the world to see. 
the departure of my dearly beloved holy vicar, Pope Benedict XVI, marks the beginning of the end. I have, through you, my chosen prophet, over the last two years, tried to prepare my church on earth for this sad event. The Masonic elite have grasped control over my church and they will wield the most wicked deceit upon Catholics. The keys of Rome are now within my hands having been passed over to me by my father. I will direct all of my followers so that the truth can be sustained and that my holy word remains intact. The false prophet will now take over the seat in Rome and my word, just as it was in my time on earth, will be treated as heresy. Make no mistake, for as the deceit is presented to the world, as if the new reign represents the truth, you, my daughter, will suffer terribly in my holy name just as the prophets, which came before you. My followers must remain calm and pray for the salvation of all of my most sacred servants who will be caught up in this abomination. I call on them to respond as follows. Continue to follow my teachings. Never wave from the word of God. Remain loyal to your sacred duties and administer the holy sacraments as you have been instructed by me. The teachings of the Catholic Church, based on its formation by my Apostle Peter, remain infallible. Now this will change once the foundation is rocked by the changes to come. Shortly, you will no longer recognize my church and you will feel very uncomfortable when you witness how my holy word will be tampered with. Your Jesus.